This time we actually said we'll go in on the weekend and uh, we, we went on uh, Friday and came out Monday and we had all the songs ready to go. Angus Young is one of the best musicians Australia has ever produced. He's the guitarist and founder of the Australian hard rock band ACDC. Not only that, but he's a singer-songwriter who's composed the majority of the band's songs. His originality, agility, and energetic performance, together with his characteristic schoolboy outfit worn on stage in Duck Walk, set him apart from other members of the band. In 2003, Young and the other members of the band were honored into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's also named 24th on Rolling Stone magazine's list of 100 greatest guitarists of all time. The Gibson Guitar Company and Angus Young worked together to create the Angus Young SG. Young created the pickup for the guitar. Really, in a weekend, we went in and worked because, you know, we weren't really functioning with him. So we decided we'd go in on the weekend and uh, work on our own. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Angus McKinnon Young, but is also known as Angus Young. He was born March 31st, 1955 in Glasgow, Scotland, making him 66 at the time of this production. He stands 157 centimeters or five feet two inches tall. It was discovered at the beginning of 2019 that Canadian postman and ACDC enthusiast Steve McNeil was organizing a marathon skate challenge to raise money for charity. McNeil skated for 19 hours and 26 minutes in towns throughout Canada to raise money for a Montreal Alzheimer's organization in memory of his mother, Eunice, who was born in 1926 but died in 2013 after suffering from Alzheimer's for 20 years. In addition, he skates in memory of ACDC guitarist Malcolm Young, who died in 2017 after being diagnosed with dementia in 2014. McNeil listens to ACDC non-stop while doing such, and so according to CBC, after learning about the tale, ACDC star Angus Young contributed $19,260 Canadian dollars to McNeil and asked that the money be dispersed to dementia music programs across Canada. It's strange how the world works, but rock and roll is such a strong instrument. This is an example of ACDC. This has the potential to open plenty of doors. McNeil reveals why he listens to the band through the grueling sessions. It's like tapping an emotional jackpot. You have to understand that this has been my driving force. That's all I listen to when I go out in these conditions because it's my dedication to Angus and the lads since I know they lost a large part of their family. He has been a teetotaler, but it's reported that he's never been drinking and using drugs. Angus Young is always spotted with his favorite chocolate milk and an occasional cup of coffee. He's one of the musicians who never use drugs and drinks. Angus Young, like other celebrities, keeps his personal and romantic life secret. Ellen Van Lockham is Angus Young's wife as of 2021. They started dating in 1979. She's 61 years old and Angus is 66. According to reports, Angus Young had at least one previous relationship. He's never been married before. Angus Young and Ellen Van Lockham have been together for 41 years. And, you know, we went from one thing to the next so quick. You know, you were, you were touring and the next week, you know, you were going, OK, we've got to do, do an album. We've got X. Angus Young was born to William and Alexandra Young on March 31st, 1955 in Glasgow, Scotland. He's the youngest of his parents' eight children. His parents and three children, Malcolm, George, and Margaret, migrated from Scotland to Sydney when he was eight years old. Angus Young attended Ashfield Boys High School before dropping out to pursue music. He began playing a banjo as a novice due to a lack of cash. Later, his mother realized he needed a guitar and purchased him a used electric guitar for training. Young had acquired a strong interest in playing the guitar at this point, so he purchased a used Gibson SG that was superior to what his mother had given him. Marcus Hook Roll Band was a band that Angus and Malcolm Young were in with their brother George and his musical collaborator, Harry Vanda. In Australia, the project published an album titled Tales of Old Granddaddy. Prior to joining ACDC, Angus Young was a member of a local band named Kentucky. 
Bob McGlynn, Angus Young, John Stevens, and Trevor James were among the members of Kentucky. Tantrum was formed after the band disbanded with the following members, Mark Snedden, Angus Young, John Stevens, and Trevor James. When he and elder brother Malcolm launched ACDC in 1973, Young was 18 years old. Angus played lead guitar, Malcolm played rhythm guitar, Colin Burgess played drums, Larry Van Crete played bass guitar, and Dave Evans sang. Their debut hit, Can I Sit Next to You Girl, was subsequently re-recorded with Bon Scott as their vocalist. They chose the name ACDC because their sister Margaret noticed the initials ACDC on the back of her sewing machine. Young experimented with a variety of theatrical costumes, including Spider-Man, Zorro, a gorilla, and a Superman spoof called Super A, before landing on his iconic schoolboy appearance at the suggestion of his sister. On February 17, 1975, ACDC released their debut album, High Voltage, with the next albums TNT, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, Let There Be Rock, and Powerage, ACDC entrenched themselves as a popular hard rock outfit, particularly in Australia, during the next three years. Until this moment, all of their albums had been produced by Young's brother George in collaboration with Harry Vanda. Highway to Hell, their 1979 studio album, became their best selling at the time and catapulted them to new heights of stardom. The band kept celebrating their triumphs and accomplishments until the worst happened. Bon Scott, the band's lead vocalist and a vital member, died as a result of alcohol intoxication. Despite the sadness, the band hired another lead vocalist, former Geordie vocalist Brian John. In honor of Scott, ACDC released the tribute album Back in Black. As if Scott's death had been a gift in disguise, the record was a massive hit, going 22 times platinum in the United States. Not only did Back in Black sell 50 million copies, but it also became the world's second best-selling album, trailing only Michael Jackson's Thriller. In their sorrow was a success, but many may have wondered if that achievement could be repeated. ACDC, undeterred by their success, issued a follow-up album. For those about to rock, we salute you in 1981. ACDC fortunes continued to deteriorate from that point on, and even the release of albums such as Fly on the Wall, Blow Up Your Video, and Flick of the Switch couldn't salvage the sinking ship until the release of The Razor's Edge in 1990. The Razor's Edge revived the band as Australia's most recognized rock band. The album sold around 12 million copies, earning it five multi-platinum certifications in the United States. Ball Breaker, Stiff Upper Lip, Black Ice and additional albums were also issued by the band. Since then, the majority of ACDC members have retired either voluntarily or on personal grounds. Malcolm Young quit owing to ill health. Get me, get me a, a, a cassette of what you got together, you know. He got that to him quick within a couple of days. And then he said, right, we'll hook up in London. Angus Young has been a highly paid guitarist in the peak of his career and earned several million dollars with his magical performances. Speaking of net worth, in 2021, Angus Young has a net worth of $160 million. He generated his wealth from his career as a guitarist and from royalties. His band has been able to give 15 studio albums, and many of them have a huge positive response from the audience. In 2007, Angus and Ellen constructed a three-story residence in Ellen's hometown of Alton, a tiny Dutch village. The multi-million dollar mansion features a recording studio, multiple guest rooms, and a sprawling lawn. The Youngs also have a property in Sydney's Kangaroo Point neighborhood. The following cars are owned by Angus Young, a 1962 Ferrari, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom.
a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano.